In this video, I want to talk a little bit about how to properly perform the low bear crawl or any bear crawl variation for that matter. So when it comes to the bear crawl, this is a very great exercise that works on stability of the shoulders, stability of the core, uh, this reciprocal action at the arm and the legs, which is exactly what you get while running, um, while also working on timing and coordination. So a lot of key benefits. Um, and I think over the years, this is something that, that uh, is more of a, a, a dreaded exercise for many because it's surprisingly challenging. So just wanna go over the key points here in this video. So hopefully you see more success and actually enjoy doing the bear crawl because it's tremendous for you. So key things with the bear crawl in a couple ways you can perform this exercise. Just, just starting off basic uh, is, a, is a very smart idea with this one. So you can see I'm in the quadruped position, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Um, just to groove the pattern and just understand how to move with the opposite arm and leg, you can simply just start to move and really work on that timing and coordination. You can try to prevent any shifting from side to side, but the hand and the knee, you can see in this position, move at the same exact time, all while I'm trying to maintain a nice flat spine and rigid and engaged trunk. So I'm, I don't really want to rock around side to side. If I notice I'm rocking around a lot side to side, while my knees are down on the ground, this is where I really want to stay and master that movement. If you're able to get that, what we're going to do is actually lift the knees slightly off the floor here. So now a lot more demand on the core to stabilize the trunk now that we really lengthen this lever from the hands to the toes. Now in this position, I always set up back flat. I don't want to come too high and I don't want to be rocking around side to side. Okay, nice, rigid and controlled trunk. From here, opposites moving at the same exact time. Okay, I can go forward, I can go backwards, I'm trying to really work on that timing coordination and ultimately controlling through the shoulders and the core. Also can go laterally side to side. So a little bit harder because a little more awkward because it's not as natural of a movement as forward and backward would be. But if I go in that same set of position, opposites are still going to move. So you see my hand went towards my other hand, my leg went away and then I switch. So it's almost like you're gonna be in a somewhat offset position here because there's always one limb, whether it's the upper body or lower body, away from the, away from the midline or the trunk, okay? But still working on the key things, control, trunk, core, stability, all of that, timing and coordination. So making sure it's a nice fluid movement and you're not rocking around side to side. If you can do that, this is a really good exercise that translates to better running performance because we're learning how to coordinate everything together, stabilizing the core, shoulders, everything, and then work in a nice coordinated and timed out fashion.